In the third part of this overview, we are going to start by looking at the new download options that are available within the Maps app. The first one we will highlight is the Download button next to the File menu. This button allows us to download our map so we can use it offline. It downloads exactly what is seen on screen within the map's display. So if you are zoomed in, it will download a zoomed in image of the map. With that in mind, make sure to frame your map correctly before you download the map to your computer. When I select the download button, I have a couple options I can change. The first is whether or not I want to show the name of the map on the image that I download. This name is based on the favorite name that is assigned to the map you are working with. If the map you are working with is not saved as a favorite, this option does not apply. Secondly, I can decide where I want the legend to be positioned in my download. You will see a preview of the legend before you download it. If I select a different legend position, you will see that a preview of the legend is reflected on the map that I'm looking at. After selecting these items, you can click on download. This will download the map to my computer. When I open the image, we can see that a clear image of the map that I was looking at has now been downloaded to my computer. I can now use this in presentations and other material as required. Going back to the Maps app, let us discuss another feature related to downloading data to our computer. When we click on the More Actions button, we will see another feature called Download Data. This is different than downloading a static image to our computer. When we download data, we are actually downloading the geographical data as well as the data values associated with the map that has been made within DHIS2. If I click on the Download Data button, I am provided with a prompt that tells me how I can use this information on my computer. We can see that this map will be downloaded in GeoJSON format. This will allow me to bring this data in to other applications such as ArcGIS or QGIS. If I click on Download, it will download the actual data file to my computer. Using QGIS as an example, I can add the downloaded data as a layer within this application. Note that it doesn't download the style or legends that have been applied to the map within DHIS2. However, if I click on one of the chiefdoms, I can see that the values associated with those chiefdoms have been downloaded along with the rest of the map data. Since we do have all of our geographic data as well as all of our data values associated with this map, we can of course use the application of our choice to apply the correct symbology to the map if required. These two new download features, downloading images and downloading data tables, should prove very useful in a number of different situations. We look forward to hearing your feedback on how these features are being used and how we can improve them in the future. If you have any questions about these two download features, please don't hesitate to let us know. In the final overview associated with the Maps app, we are going to talk about an improvement that is associated with event level data.